Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar. We'll have a look at the GFS, the GM, the Eastern DF, the GFS ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation and temperature. Now we have heavy rain spreading through at the moment for uh, the last day of meteorological winter. Sums it up really pretty miserable. However, if we have a look at the latest models today, it is firming up that we could be seeing a proper cold easterly wind, coldest weather of the winter, potentially coming up in the next 10 days. Now, we have been flirting with the idea over the last couple or, or last seven days or so, last five to seven days, but it very much is coming into the shorter range model forecast now, and the ensembles are becoming more on board with it. So I'll have a look at that in detail in this video. Just remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Also, do check out channel membership. Uh, of course, that link's in the description as well. Now, if we start off by having a look at the live radar, you can see heavy rain is spreading eastwards across the country. Across the North Midlands into northeast England, that's where we've got the heaviest rain at the moment. But it's going to spread through all areas. Some areas in the Far East are avoiding uh, some of the rain at the moment, but they will all be affected as this weather front pushes eastwards over the coming hours. Pretty heavy rain under there could cause some surface water, water flooding and some areas that are vulnerable at the moment with high uh, river levels. There could be some flooding around as well. Now, there are no Met Office warnings in for this, but of course, pl do please do stay vigilant out there. Uh, it's going to have a lot of spray around, especially on some of the motorways. So please do take care out there over the next few hours as this weather front does move through it does look like it's gonna be quite on and off the next few days with more heavy rain around but not around for everywhere um and uh yeah not around all the time so it will it will depend very much in location and uh, of course on timing as well and i have a look at the uk metal run at the end of the video which uh, highlights that really well over the next five days now if we do have a look at the gfs run now gfs has been on and off with showing the cold easterly but it is on board very much today with the latest 12z run now this run only just came out about an hour before i'm recording this and you can see as we head towards um uh, next sort of five days we do start to put up that high pressure over towards the top of the uk and towards scandinavia we do pull in a bit of an easterly wind pretty chilly but it's beyond that right to day seven to day ten where we start to put in a real cold easterly wind maybe the minus 10 ice firm pushing in there for a good few days good maybe four or five day cold spell coming up on this gfs run now we're not pulling in the bitterly cold air you can see that towards scandinavia and russia minus 10 to minus 20 degrees air with php we're not pulling that in but pulling in pretty cold air cold enough for snow to be falling out of the sky for any, everywhere and then we do see low pressure pumping up quite warm air um big temperature contrast but it's all to do with this blocking pattern we have a bit over the north pole and you can see this application the jet stream that jet stream really up and down and it's bringing in some balmy southerly winds to end the run but slight orientation shift move that slightly further south and eastwards we would be putting in all of this cold air just to our north so by no means guaranteed um to be seeing very cold weather or very mild weather but this is all the latest shift has showing very much a blocked pattern with cold easterly winds at least for a good few days in the next uh, sort of seven to ten day time frame so yeah looking very cold indeed now if you have a look at the gm run now the gm run is on board as well and while i'm saying that the ecmwf run is also on board with this easterly wind so if we have a look for the gm you can see we do build in that high pressure over the next couple of days it doesn't really pull in too much of an easterly wind initially but it really gets going right towards day 10 and we do start to put in a real quite chilly easterly wind now you can see that cold air just remains slightly to our east not quite fully getting in but it's the general pattern is the same yes upper air temperatures are going to vary very much over the 7 to 10 day time frame between models um, um and of course this would be an interesting pattern with weather fronts coming up against that colder air could be going very uh, very snowy potentially with this but for the time being it's just generally showing scandinavian high with easterly winds that are going to be cold um and we'll have to see exactly how it does play out um beyond that um of course to see whether it does go in a full-blown easterly or whether it's just sort of a transient easterly but gm is showing an easterly wind which if you're looking for cold weather is a good sign 
Now, if we do have a look at the ECM WF, this is the latest 12s ad run, literally just came out. Uh, if we do refresh, you can see 240 hours now, and you can see that high pressure building up towards, towards Scandinavia. We do pull in an easterly wind of 192 hours. Not massively cold initially, but pretty chilly indeed. And then at day 10, we start to put in a bitterly cold air mass. Minus 10 line moving through. Similar to the GFS, we do see low pressure running up against the higher pressure. And what that does, mild air up against that colder air on that boundary near that minus 5 line along the eastern half of the United Kingdom, we would be seeing heavy snow, leading edge snowfall. And we'd have to see how this does play out with that cold, uh, dense air mass hangs on, that minus 10 line hangs on or whether we do see that milder air push in but regardless it would be a snowy breakdown perhaps snowy and then turning milder after uh, after a good five ten centimeters of snow or whether that cold air hangs on very much could uh could yet yeah, decide the fate of any major snowfall with this and how long it does last so yeah very very interesting all three models at the day seven to day 10 time frame are all building in an easterly wind and some of them going very cold indeed now that is just reaffirmed by the latest gfs ensembles now you can see there definitely has been a shift in the ensembles from around the 5th of march all the way to the 10th much colder signal mild at the moment over the next three or four days as we head into meteorological spring and then that period from the 5th to the 10th averaging around 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 minus four degrees energy for hpa many going much colder than that some going much milder but there definitely has been a shift to colder ensemble members beyond that though majority do build it back up uh, around the 10th 11th of march back to around average or slightly above average uh, and of course it doesn't look like this is going to hang on forever, but it could hang on for a good four or five days. Could be a, a decent easterly wind, let's just say, uh, that could be coming up. Um, and yeah, we'll have to see exactly what happens with that. Long term, of course, does look like it's returning to around mild, so it's not going to go into a uh, like a week or two week long cold spell. But definitely could be a, a decent cold spell that we haven't seen anything of really so far this winter. Of course, we have seen some snow in some places. We have seen some snow, even areas further southwards like the Midlands um, and maybe set, central southern England with some heavier showers and within some snowier bands, but nothing significant um, at all, really. So, yeah. Um, this could be uh, the cold spell of the winter, really. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF ensemble, see how they do compare. Now, if we do go to the midnight, as they haven't fully uh, updated, you can see, again, there has been a shift, um, colder shift within the ensemble members up until around the 10th of March. Now, most of the ensemble members are below average. Now, of course, there are 50 ensemble members plus on this ECMWF uh, ensemble charts, so we're always going to get those milder outliers. But the majority now, I would say, again, down to that minus 5 to minus 8 level for at least a period of time. And I suspect if this updated to the 12Z run, which will probably be out in the next few hours, we would likely again see it go down, maybe shift a little bit colder as well. In the longer term, again, returning to milder, uh, but that's expected, as you saw by those runs beyond day 10, similar to the east of the F and the GFS, we do start to put in southwesterlies as low pressure just sit out of the Atlantic. So it's likely we could go unsettled, but with that could be a snowy breakdown as well. So we'll have to see uh, exactly what happens with that, but there definitely has been a colder shift today. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. Um, what happens with this easterly wind? It'll be very annoying if it is a bust. Um, there is a chance of it's a bust, but it would be uh, yeah, be very frustrating considering pretty much any cold prospects so far this winter have very much not come off, uh, or at least in the capacity that they could have come off um, uh, a couple of days beforehand, or uh, especially towards Christmas period, end of November, where it's cold, but not quite as cold as it could have been. And we have seen repeated signals for potentially cold weather through January and February, but never quite to come to the shorter term time frame so now we do finish up have a look at the uk met office run have a look at precipitation and temperature now you can see the big band of rain spreading through at the moment it's spreading eastwards and it should clear all areas by sort of sunrise tomorrow maybe the far southeast hanging on to a bit of precipitation i'm going to see more heavier rain spread into the south um, through tuesday afternoons evening spreading heavier rain further north into the midlands uh, before eventually sort of petering away and again spreading in through thursday more heavier rain and it's going to be very much on and off you can see by the weekend things are turning a little bit um more settled but you can see the wind has veered in from the 
east. And if you have a look at those pressure, you can see high pressure at the top, and we're pulling in an easterly wind. So yeah, very interesting seeing that UK melt up strong going for that in the longer term. Now if you have a look at the max temperatures, you can see generally not too bad. Uh 12, 13 degrees in the far east, but turning colder from the west behind that weather front and by tomorrow morning some areas in the northwest getting down to a frost but areas in the south and east holding up to the cloud and some rain in the far southeast eight or nine degrees and tomorrow highs not too bad around seven to ten degrees um so around average really for this time of year tuesday night frost in the north remaining a few degrees above freezing in the south and by wednesday afternoon again five to ten degrees so around average um so maybe slightly below average in a few spots Wednesday evening, not looking too bad. Uh, by Thursday afternoon, 10 to 12 degrees in the south, looking decent. Um, but elsewhere, further northwards, not looking too great. And by Friday afternoon, again, 10 degrees, not too bad. It could be a frost overnight to Saturday. And you can see by Saturday afternoon, as we start to win that chilly easterly wind, although we're not getting a bitterly cold air mass, and you can see in the far southeast and into East Anglia, with a few of those showers pulling in, only 6 or 7 degrees, which is below average now as we head into March. So, yeah. Looking colder, perhaps, in the five-day time frame. We'll have to keep an eye on that in the longer term. But for now, yeah, very interesting charts we are seeing. Um, models are now all on board with this easterly, but they have to remain on board. And I suspect we will be seeing some wobbling, as it still is around seven days away from... Um, seeing anything potentially cold definitely doesn't look like high pressure will be uh, in charge of at least a period of time but whether we do pull in the easily we'll have to see so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh, and i'll see you again for another video soon